M0FXP Digital Ham Radio Diary. Welcome. M0 FXP, welcome to my channel. So Carl at DV Mega has a new hotspot which is called Gen Blue Stack. And it uses the Blue DV system and the Pi Star system. So this system, Blue DV, which looks like this. So in this video, we're going to show you how to connect it using Blue DV. Now I'll put a link in the description to download the Blue DV zip and, and run it. And when you run it, you'll end up with a, a window that, that looks like this. So first thing you do, you can see in the video, we've got the, Pi, the Icon 52 and the FT70 behind the actual hotspot that Carl has made. It comes in a lovely, good quality case, 70 centimeter antenna on this one at the moment. And um, it's plugged into my laptop. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna right click the device manager and we're gonna find the COM port that it's connected to. So double click here and I would guess that it's this one here that says USB serial uh, CH340 and it's COM10. So now all we do is we've got Blue DV open here. Now we might as well update everything while we're connected. So we'll go yes, click OK to all that. Now this is actually my first time set up on this particular unit. So go yes, we're updating one at a time. DMR, yes, yes, uh, yes yes keep going last one at the bottom fusion so dmr d star and fusion right next thing we'll do is set up so we'll go menu set up we now need to remember that we're on com 10 uh so let's get that let's get our uh call sign in m zero f x b and then let's look for serial port 10 what else could we set? Frequency, let's do the one on my FT70 is 438.575. So what else have we got here? And then DMR, we'll just do Fusion to start with. And let's see if we can get it to connect to something we recognize there. CQ UK, let's try that. We're not doing DMR, but if we were doing DMR, you'd, you'd choose your server and then you'd put your password in look but we're not right at this moment we're just doing, going to do fusion so we'll click save uh, what have we done with the frequency 438 let's just get the frequency right so menu setup so we'll just quickly show you the setup for d star so we'll just go menu setup let's have a look here there's my frequency call sign same com, and we've just selected D star here, uh, here module B, and click save. And then all you do is serial on D star on like so, and then click link like so. We've got the icon fifty two, and you got activity there straight away, and that's D star. And then we'll quickly show some DMR. M zero FXB, welcome to my channel. So as you know, Carl at DV Mega has created a new hotspot. This one works via USB, but can also work with Pi Star, and that would be wireless. So I'm going to show you how to do that. In a previous video, I've showed you how to use it with the Blue DV system, which looks like this. So first thing you're going to need to do, if you look at the image on the screen, you can see there's a Raspberry Pi, and I've got mine in a black case, but you can see that on the Raspberry Pi, there is a USB cable, micro USB going into the new Gen Blue stack here, which I'm lifting up and down now, and you can see the black cable going into it there. And that's micro USB to micro USB. You can buy an adapter, but um, these are our three pounds online. So the white cable you can see is just going to a power support, a power source, which is powering both of the devices. So once you've got these connected, remember that the Raspberry Pi that you're using does need to have the Raspberry Pi image. So you can get that just from Pi Start downloads. Uh, just get the latest image. I think this one here, Raspberry Pi 4.1.530. Fine. Put the image on and put your WPA supplicant, you know, your Wi-Fi details for your router at home as well. Or you could just use an existing Raspberry Pi you've got and you won't have to change anything initially. So connect it all up. Once you've done that, you're just going to need to go into the settings. Now you'll find... You'll find it with an IP address like you normally do. Now, I just go. In, I just use an IP scanner, like Advanced IP Scanner, or you can look inside your actual router 
and look for the IP address and mine's come up at 192.168.0.101 and it will come up with a page. Now it won't be connected initially so go to configuration. The password is um, pi dash star and raspberry and once you're in all you need to change is the main thing is here where it see the radio modem type drop that down like so and select blue mega on blue stack usb single band okay 70 centimeter that's the one you're looking for once that's in make sure you choose the frequency you're going to use it on get your call sign in we i've called it pi star you could call it pi star blue gem you know um to help find it but otherwise and then we've got i've got a q here ignore that you'd normally have a b here uh, so b here and g is automatic and then when you apply changes you can select um, which reflector you want here you can change using the radio but all here so reflector one charlie but obviously there's lots to choose from and then we're doing this setup as d star now you could actually set it up in dmr you can hear it going off there you could set it up in DMR and you need to add your DMR number or YSF, it's going to work. But we're, in this video, we're just going to do D-Star. I think I will do separate videos showing it on the, other, on the other radio. So once you've applied that, you're in your dashboard and it will connect. So uh, use, use the radio in the normal way. So I can just give a call through now. M0FXB, Mike Zero, Fox X-Ray Bravo, calling for an audio check. And you can see that it's working just like any other hotspot. But we're on the Pi Star system. There's Tommy just testing it out. So I just replied quickly back to him. Yeah, thanks, Tommy. I can't hold it. We're doing a quick test there on the on the new uh, Blue DV. Uh, back to you there, and I'll stand by. Yeah, sorry about that. I think we've got a bit of a flat battery, so not to worry. So that hopefully shows you how to set it up. I'll just go back into configuration. Uh, like so, just double check everything. Got MMDVM host there, simplex node, D star, Pi star here, call sign, frequency, locator, the key thing, radio modem, and it's going to work. So there you are. And um, we shall uh, be testing this out on other radios as well. 73, all the best. Right, don't go back into the setting. Uh, so 438575 COM10, we've selected CQUK here. Uh, we'll just do that for now and we'll look back a sec in a sec at the other mode. So click save and then turn the serial on here. That turns it on. If, if there's a problem, you'll s probably see it here. And then we, we're doing fusion. So we'll click fusion. Let's see, if, let's see the drop down here. We've, done, we've selected CQUK and then we're going to click link. And we should, with a bit of luck, get some uh, get some connection. Here it goes. There you go, G zero. KBM. And if we key, it changes colour. So there you are. That's your your fusion setup. And turn it off like that, and then you can select another mode. So let's do that. M0FXB, welcome to my channel. So here we are looking at the new hotspot by DV Mega called Gen Blue. In the background, you can see my FT70, and the Gen Blue hotspot is here. Lovely, good quality case, and it works via USB when it's on Blue DV. When it's using the Pi Star system, it's wireless, but you do need a cable. Uh, between the uh, blue, the gem blue and the Pi Zero. So let's have a quick look at our setup here. So you do need to be running an image on your SD card on the Pi Zero, Pi Zero here, Pi Star image. You can go to Pi Star Downloads for this. That's the what the latest one there, 4.1.530. Um, so get that onto your SD card. Put your Wi-Fi details in there using Wi-Fi Builder. And then you can, you'll find it show up in your IP address. Use an advanced IP scanner to scan your IP and you will find it. And then you just need to configure it. So when you configure, you log into configuration page, which is username, password, sorry, username, Pistar, password, Raspberry. Uh, so then just looking at my config, don't touch the top section here. Leave the little blue dots where they are. Select YSF, none for screen, 
I've got Devity here. It doesn't really matter, I don't think. Pi star, get your call sign in. I've got my DMR numbering, so I was on DMR. Uh, frequency you're going to use, which is on my FT70, you can see here in the background. And um, then the most important thing is you need to select radio modem type, drop this down here, and it's DV Mega on Bluestack USB single band. There you go. Once you've done that, apply the changes, and we've by default we've selected America Link YZX. You can change the room in the normal way using your radio, and whether it's an FT5, FT70, FT300, you know, it, it will work. And then you get the dashboard, it's normal. Now remember, this is a hybrid hotspot and will work with the Blue DV system. Now I'm going to show you the setup for that uh, in a separate video. Uh, and you can also, you can actually run, uh, this is a new thing that Carl told me, multiple Blue DV windows. As long as you keep them open and don't close them down, you can actually run more than one. So you could have one on, say, DMR and one on Fusion, for example. But right now, this is about PyStar and the PyStar setup. So there you are, just quickly go back to the config page to show you uh, my setting. Just pause it if you want to see. There you go, hopefully you've got all that. And if you need to learn how to set up a, a PyStar hot, um, SD card, then just look at my other video for that. So 7.3, thanks for watching, and um, I'll put the link in the description, also of the download for Blue DV, a link in the description for Carl's site there, DV mega and with any phone numbers and just give him a call or email him uh, and and these are a bar absolute bargain at 55 pound 55 pound which is um if you ask me it's almost giveaway price for the quality that you'll get in here so seven three thanks for watching all the best so we're logged into dmr so i'll just log out and just show you the settings menu setup there you go, content, my call sign, and then DMR here. You've got a, pa a password in DMR Master 2341GB. DMR numbers here, uh, frequency of my radio. And then we're using the radio to decide what talk group to connect to. Click Save. And when you log into DMR like so, and then when you key the mic on the talk group you've programmed, you're going to hear DMR. So that's it, 7-3, thanks for watching, all set up. Bye for now. M0FXB, welcome to my channel. So here we are with the GenBlue Stack Hotspot, newly made by DV Mega. Carl at DV Mega and all the contact details will be in this link. So let's have a look. So we're, you, we're showing you the PyStar version now, and then we'll be showing the Blue Stack version as well, because it's a hybrid hotspot and it's via USB cable but when it's using PyStar uh, it's a wireless connection so let's show you the setup so it's running here now if we turn it up we're with the Anytone 878 on DMR and I'll show you the configuration so go to configuration now to get this set up if you look at what I'm connecting you've got a power cable going to a normal Raspberry Pi Zero here in white that's a white power cable and you've got a black cable micro USB to micro USB on the 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 new hotspot there so uh, it works very well. It comes in a nice case. These are £55. Now the price is going up, so grab them while they're available at that pri price plus postage. Very good quality case, nice antenna, and they work on DMR, D-Star, Fusion, and when on PyStar, NXDM, P25, ETC. So um, we're going to be showing you um, different setups here that I've got. So let's just go through my settings. You don't change anything here. Now you do need to put an image of PyStar onto your SD card that is running on the Pi Zero, and you'll need to have wi use Wi-Fi Builder to add your Wi-Fi details of your router broadband at home, and you can use PyStar for that, and there is a, a, a PyStar Builder for doing that. So, back to the configuration. Once you've got that up and running, you'll have a config screen. The password is PyStar, and the username is, uh, the, the username is PyStar, and the password is Raspberry. Look here, we've got DMR mode selected, um, no screen on this one, Devity AMO I've just selected there, PyStar, now you could name that, you could say PyStar uh, Blue Gen, uh, put your DMR number in, the frequency you want to use on your radio, and you can change uh, talk groups using the radio as well. Um, so, And then the, the crucial one is here, radio modem type here, when you drop this down, very important, 
you need to select DV Mega on Bluestack USB single band 70 centimeters. Very, very important. So scroll down. Uh, let's have a look here. Uh, I've chosen BM2341. You've got to get your hotspot security in there that you get on Brandmeister Self Care. Just Google that Brandmeister Self Care, create an account and create your password there so it all matches up. Uh, and once you've done that, apply your changes and, and you're done. Um, so what you can now do is use the radio to change talk groups. So my radio, I've programmed in the talk group 91. As you can see, we've got yeah, someone sure talking there. Uh, <laughs> a massive, a massive, got to be 60 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, it's working great and I can just change with my radio in the normal way. Um, or you can manually dial a talk group as well. So that's it really. Can't see any more that I've missed. Hopefully you can see all the settings. You can see it's all green there. DMR, DMR number, frequency. It's all there in front of you. So 73, thanks for watching my channel and have a look at the other video using exactly the same hotspot but running the Blue DV system, which looks like this. But all of this with the Blue DV system, you are using um, a USB cable uh, and selecting a COM port. And I'll make a separate video altogether for that. All the best, 73 for now.